All right, so this is the introduction for the mushroom growing kitchen mycology course. Um, why kitchen mycology? Because this is meant for the average Joe, like me, to successfully grow mushrooms in the simplest way possible without having to buy a lot of expensive equipment, without too much complication, keeping it simple. Um, in your own kitchen, you don't need a special lab or, or a grow room, you know, dedicated grow room or dedicated lab space. You can do this pretty much anywhere. Why the course? Why do I feel the need to make a little course when there's so many videos and so much information out there on the internet? The reason is because when I started learning this, there is so much information that it's very hard to find what exactly works for you. In this case, what, what worked for me. Um, it comes the information the information you find goes from the very very stupid simple shady uh techniques to super complicated you need to buy all these super expensive equipment and all this stuff um and i've always been trying to find the middle ground and in everything I do, and also I've always followed the KISS principle, keep it simple, stupid. So I've always been trying to ride along that razor's edge of the simplest I can get, but still being effective and without going too far into the difficult and complicated and time consuming, or go too far to the left to, yeah, simple, but you're just going to get contamination every time and it's not going to work. Um, and I believe I've found on all of the, the steps of the growing process, I believe I've found the perfect balance between simplicity and effectiveness and also uh, time, um, not spending too much time. Um, so that's why I came came up with this and and also another reason is people put these videos on YouTube because they want to get the hits so a lot of it is clickbait a lot of it is just like glossing over steps and yeah yeah do this and this and this and look this is all the, the, the mushrooms you're gonna get and sometimes it's just plain wrong um, so I want it all in one place, um, again, focusing on that simplicity and, and, you know, accessibility so that anyone can do this. You don't have to buy all this expensive equipment, like I said, and you don't need to study for years to do this. I mean, I've been doing this for years and it's taken me years to get to this point where I have these techniques that are so simple to do. And this way, it's all in video, close-ups, very detailed. I make an effort to show you specifically each step close up and personal and I also explain each step so I try to think of all those questions I've already had and put them in the videos. I separate them in, in order of each step right from making a spore print to uh, colonizing agar to transferring mycelium from agar to agar to either clean up your mycelium because it may be contaminated or to just propagate or to just make it go stronger. Um, we're going to go into all that. Um, the other thing is um, these little 
tips and tricks and little details that I've learned with time, you'd have to look at so much information to get them all in one place. I mean, I, I've spent whew, hours and hours and hours. I, I still watch a lot of videos and, and, and read a lot of books and stuff because I'm never done learning, but at a point where it's consistent, my results are consistent, I'm like 99.9% .9 uh, contamination free. Um, I always get great yields. Um, I'm at a great place and I want to share this. And, and I want to share this with people so they don't have to go through all this time consuming hell of going through all this information and finding out what works and what doesn't. Um, also, this is just fun. This is this is science. It's you learn more about yourself, so much more about yourself when when growing mushrooms. And it's also so magical how these little microscopic spores get together and grow this mycelium, and then these crazy fruiting bodies, mushrooms come out of nowhere and in three days, boom, they're huge from these little tiny things and just days, they're, they're huge. Um, and you can grow medicinal mushrooms, you can grow uh, edible mushrooms. Um, I've grown oyster mushrooms, which are delicious and, and fun. Um, lion's mane, which is very healthy. I've, I've grown piopinos, uh, black poplar piopino, and which are very easy to grow. Um, which brings me to to the point: um, the technique that you're going to be learning is is growing mushrooms in cocoa coir, which is very simple. I'm going to go over uh, cocoa coir substrate growing. Why? Because it's the easiest way to start and it is very contamination resistant resistant and uh and we can grow piopino black poplar uh for examples and you can grow anything that'll grow on coca coir um and for example you could grow if it's legal you could grow psilocybin cubensis um and it's great because you would if it's legal for you, you know exactly what you're getting. You're growing it yourself. Um, you don't depend on any shady character or God knows where you got this from. Um, and of course, you save a ton of money. Um, Piopinos, and you know, they're, they're uh, uh, very tasty. They grow a lot. You can get quite a bit of them. It's food. It, it's and they're so fun to grow. Um, also, Piopinos are, Paul Stamets, one of his favorite mushrooms. He said in an interview, he says he doesn't know why more people aren't growing it. So, took a page from his book. Um, so, those are pretty much the reasons um, why we're doing this. And why, what I bring to the table, what I have to offer. It's fast, it's simple, inexpensive. Um, just buy a few materials to begin with, and that's it. 